So for this question then, we're given the sum to infinity of a geometric progression is equal to 8 sevenths times the sum of the first six terms. And we've got to show then that the common ratio r is equal to plus or minus 1 over root k. Got to give the value of k. So how do we go about this? Well, you should already be familiar with the formula for the sum to infinity and the sum of the first n terms of a geometric progression. And if not, here we are. Just a brief reminder. There's the sum of the first n terms. Remember, a is the first term in the progression. And if the common ratio r lies between minus 1 and 1, then the sum to infinity is given by this formula. So all I need to do is just substitute the values into both the sum to infinity and the sum of the first n terms. So if we do that, what we're going to get is therefore for sum to infinity, that's just going to be the first term a all over 1 minus the common ratio. And that's going to be equal to 8 sevenths then times the sum of the first six terms. So we just let n equal 6 and that's going to be a times 1 minus r to the power 6 and that's all divided then by 1 minus r. So what happens next? Well, well I can now see that we can divide both sides by a. It's a common factor so we can divide through by a and we can also multiply both sides by 1 minus r and that would cancel out that with that one. Okay, so all I need to do now is get rid of this 7 times both sides by 7. That gives me 7 equals, and on the right hand side, just expand the bracket with that 8, and you're going to get 8 minus 8r to the power 6. And then rearranging this, we therefore have, if we add 8r to the power 6 to both sides, and subtract 7 from both sides, we have 8 take away 7 is 1. And then I can see that if I divide by 8 to both sides, I get r to the power 6 equals 1 8. And then take the sixth root of both sides, that leaves me with r equals plus or minus, remember it plus or minus because it, we're taking an even powered root, and if we take the sixth root of 1, that's going to be 1. Now the sixth root of 8, well I get a clue up here that it's got to be something based say on 2. I know that 2 cubed, let's just write it in here, 2 cubed is 8. So therefore if I write 2 as root 2 all squared, and then cube that, that's going to be the same as root 2 to the power 6 must equal 8. So that's basically uh, what I'm thinking through here. Okay, so I can see that this is going to be 1 over root 2 if I take the sixth root of 8. Okay, so I hope you're able to get that result. If not, at least being able to see how to do it. So thanks for watching, okay, and see you in another video if you've got any problems.